Have you ever wondered why some flowers only exist during some parts of the year? So we're going to be talking about something very important, and that's exactly this topic. Now, so picture this, okay? We're in a desert, and we have two flowers, two plants, two flowers, okay? Um, two important ones. All these other ones we're not going to worry about, okay? We're caring about these two. Now, what is going to determine which flower will end up, which plant will end up forming a flower. So, obviously, your immediate answer might be, well, environment. If it's really, really hot, maybe these flowers cannot survive, and then so no flowers will be formed. And if it's really, really cold, then these flowers cannot survive either, and so, so there will be no flowers. Now, that's true. That's one good way of thinking of it. And another very important thing that you need to know is something called photoperiodism. So there is something called photoperiodism. Photoperiodism is a term or a word that describes the formation of flowers depending on light, okay? Depending on light. And you'll see exactly what I mean by this. So we have to know two types of plants, okay? Short day and long day plants. And we'll see exactly what this means. So short day plants. They say this is a short day plant, long day plant, this is a short day plant. Now, we know when, when is there long days during the year? Think about what season you're in right now. If right now you're in spring or summer, then you typically have long days and short nights, okay? You have a lot of sun and a little bit of moon. If you live, on the contrary, in a place right now where it's winter or autumn, you have a lot of moon and a little bit of sun, okay? So we're going to show now how depending if, if a plant or a, or a plant is long day or short day, this will influence which time of the year it will flower. Okay, so let's say right now it's summer, okay, um, or spring, and there's a lot of sun, a lot of sun. So right now it's going to be a long day. So what's going to happen? Why would this one flower more in the summer and this one would flower more in the winter? Let's see. So we start off with this, okay? We have this pigment, okay? This phytochrome, phytochrome, this is phytochrome. It's a little molecule inside the leaf, okay? So we call it P, P for phytochrome. And R because it absorbs red light. So the sun emits rays, right? We know it emits UV light. But in addition to UV light, it also emits some visible light. And we know visible light contains... Um, um, red light as well, okay? So this pigment or this phytochrome can absorb red light, okay? And red light exists when the sun is out. So when the sun is out, this thing, this phytochrome will absorb this red pigment and get converted into something called PFR, okay? PFR, phytochrome far red. So it becomes another molecule. Now this molecule is good at, absorb, um, at absorbing far red light. Far red light does not exist during the day, but it exists during the night. So, after a long day, a lot of PFR was created. Now comes night. So bear in mind, we're in the summer, right? We're in, this, in the summer. So now comes night. Okay, night is going to be short. Okay, night is going to be short. So, at night, this pigment can absorb, this PFR pigment can absorb um, something called far red light, and it, ex it, it is emitted at night. But since night is short, very little of this molecule is converted back into PR. So overall, we have much more of this molecule, okay, that exists. So now, let me show you this. Obviously, this is happening the same way in a short day plant. Now, the difference is, so if it happens the same way, why would short day plants not flower and long day plants will flower? So the reason is because PFR, we know it builds up now during, during summer, PFR is a molecule that tells long day plants to make flowers. Okay, it tells their genetics, it makes them express the genetics to make flowers. It makes their genes make proteins that allows flowers to be made. So it's a stimulator. 
for long day plants to flower. In the contrary, when this builds up in short day plants, this molecule is an inhibitor of flowering. So it inhibits short day plants DNA from telling the plant to make a flower. Okay, so in short day plants, this PFR is an inhibitor, whereas in long day plants, it is a stimulator. How can we remember this? Which one is longer, PFR or PR? PFR, right? So the, the longer molecule will stimulate the long day plant to flower, whereas the longer molecule does, does not stimulate the short day plant. It's longer, so it stimulates long day plants. If it's a short day plant, it will inhibit it, okay? So now you can see, during the summer, this flower would not exist, okay? The, the plant might, but this process meant that this flower could not be formed during the summer, okay? Does that make sense so far? So we're going to look at it now. We're going to look at this scenario now as if it's winter. So maybe it's winter where you are now, and so this will make sense. So that's why, so in reality, in spring and summer, when we see so many flowers, it's because most, most plants are, are long day plants. And so it, during this, during the summer, we'll mostly see a lot of flowers because most, most, most plants are long day plants. And during the winter, you won't really see so many flowers because there are very few short day plants. Okay, so let's look now at winter. So during winter, we have what? We have um, sh a little amount of sun. Okay, so let's look at the same diagram. Only this time, I'm going to remove these arrows. And replace them okay so during uh, winter we have this so there the long day plant will now have during the winter a little bit of Sun right at winter there's not that much Sun so we will form very little PFR okay and the night meanwhile actually let's bring this over here same here and then night will come and night is really long really long it's winter so therefore this PFR will be converted all the way back to PR. And since night is long, a lot of PR is going to be formed. And so there's going to be little, very little bit PFR left. Now, if there's a very little bit of PFR left, what does that mean? For a long day plant, that means there's very little stimulator for flowering because there's almost none of it. Therefore, this one will not flower. Oops, I deleted the whole thing. Therefore, this one will not flower, okay, because there's very little stimulator for flowering. Whereas in a short day plant, we know um, a lot of this molecule will inhibit flowering. So if there's very little of this molecule during winter, then that means there's no inhibitor of flowering. So, the, so this plant will flower because there's nothing inhibiting it. So now this flower will exist, whereas this one will not. So this so it's very rare, but there are some short day plants, and that's why during um, uh, sp uh, what do you call them? winter and autumn, there's very few plants, but there is some flowers that exist due to this mechanism. So that's it. It's really that simple. You just need to remember that PFR is the main thing, and that in long day plants, because it's the longer name out of PR and PFR, it will stimulate long day plants to flower, whereas it will inhibit if it if there's a lot of it short day plants to flower okay now just because here i didn't use a nice clear diagram um, i'm going to show you here it's the same thing okay so this is the same thing i just explained up here just in another diagram version pr during the day gets converted to pfr and at night um, far red light uh, gets absorbed and pfr gets converted back into pr okay so So this is essentially, uh, I'll just re quickly reiterate, basically, during summers, there's long days, short nights, right? Long days, short nights means a lot of this one. A lot of this one means long day plants, genetics get stimulated to flower. But in short day plants, a lot of this molecule will inhibit the genetics of, of, of flowering. So no, no flower will be formed. And then it works the exact opposite way during um, uh, winter times, okay? So here I have some definitions written out um, just in case you couldn't quite, quite follow them. And I hope this video made sense.